Hi, uh, welcome to the next video lecture in Introduction to Machine Learning. We are still talking about random forests and in this video we are going to talk about feature importance, which is another nice feature of random forests that we are able to compute such feature importances. Okay, um, so let's talk about interpretability of these types of models. A single tree as we've seen, is highly interpretable. I mean, we can just look at it and understand what it's doing. A random forest, however, constitutes uh, or is constituted by a couple of hundred of such trees. So we don't really understand anymore what's going on. It's more like a black box model. Um, so we can't really understand in detail how the random forest is generating the predictions it generates. Um, but what we can do is we can at least figure out which variables, which features are really important in generating the predictions of the random forest and which are not. So we are going to be talking about variable importance measures. And the basic idea here is um, that we simply take a random forest and we ask, well, okay, how much worse would that random forest do if we didn't have one of the features or if we didn't have one specific feature or if we were to change that feature in such a way to make it useless for prediction. Yeah. And if that change is large, then that's an important variable. And if that change is small, then, well, the variable isn't that important, or the feature isn't that important. That's the basic idea, fairly simple. Um, even simpler is uh, the implementation in this uh, first kind of variable importance. We basically just look at um, how much of an improvement in the split criterion um, these nodes that are using that specific feature are adding. So for all the features um, in our training data, in our data set, we do the following. We go to every tree learner, um, to every tree base learner in the ensemble. And in every tree base learner, we find all the nodes that use that specific feature XJ. We compare um, the impurity of the node before the split and the impurity in the nodes after the split, or if you don't want to talk imp about impurity, talk about the empirical risk in the parent node that's using that split and then the empirical risks in the two child nodes of that node. And we just take the difference. So we, we note down how much improvement did that bring us. Yeah? And we note these up, we add them up, um, we add them up over all the trees um, to get the feature importance of XJ. And then, for example, for the iris data set, we can look at the mean decrease in accuracy or mean decrease in the Gini index, which are basically equivalent to the Breyer score loss. Um, and we can see that petal length and petal width seem to be fairly important. Sepal length and sepal width, not so much. All right, that's the first way of computing the variable importance. Um, this works okay, um, but there's another way to do it um, that's also important. That's variable importance measure based on permutations of the out of bag observations. Okay. So while we're growing the tree, um, we are, we talked about this already, we, we are only using a part of the data set that was part of the bootstrap sample used to construct that tree. So we have basically a test data set available. Yeah? Um, and the idea now is that we can use these out of bag observations, these OOB observations, to evaluate um, the feature, a feature's performance by doing the following thing. Yeah. We generate predictions 
for all the out of bag observations. Okay, and um, we evaluate how well we're doing in terms of predictions. All right, and then what we do is we take one of the features and we just shuffle it around randomly in the out of bag observation. So we take the so we take essentially the, the test data set that we just evaluated the predictive accuracy for. And we just destroy one of these columns by randomly permuting it, shuffling the values around. Any association between the feature and the target variable has to be destroyed, right? It, if we just randomly shuffle it around, anything, any pattern that was there before isn't there anymore afterwards. So we permute one of the columns for one of the features um, and we pass down these permuted out of bag observations again and again evaluate the predictive accuracy and then we look at how much has changed to the original data so how much worse did my predictions get after i destroyed that one column yeah and if that change is big well then that column was important for generating my predictions and if that change is small well then that column wasn't important for generating my predictions yeah so i can use that as a, a variable importance measure too this is um, another schematic to show you this okay so this is the data that we started out with this is our definition of the out of bag risk yeah so here we have one of our three base learners that we learned from one specific um, in-back sample here in light blue. And now we are um, evaluating the out of bag, we sorry, we are evaluating the predictive accuracy on these, on these out of bag observations in gray. Yeah, so we getting this one right, getting this one right, getting this one right. Okay, and now I want to know how important is this uh, variable x1 for generating these predictions. So what I do is I permute the values of x1, right? So you see I change around the order of them. All the other columns in here, I, I don't change. I only permute the values in this one column compared to the original data set. So this is basically here I've destroyed the association between x1 and y. And now I look at, okay, well, what are my predictions? So this one I used to get right, now I get it wrong. This one I still get right. This one I used to get right, now I get it wrong. Okay, so, and then I take the difference and this is the variable importance. So how much worse does my, how much does my empirical risk, my loss of my predictions increase if I do this permutation. I do that for every tree and I average it and that gives me a variable importance for that specific feature. That's it. Thank you for listening.